wait, wait, wait. You can't start the episode with a montage. Well, I guess it's too late. Roll the intro. Hello, everyone. This is RecRap2, and welcome to another episode. You know what's wrong with this picture? Do you? Well, we're not six feet apart, so we're going up. And it seems we've been followed. And it seems we're at the wall. What the heck? Okay, well, let's go up anyways. Aha, here we are. Back in the wall. This was not supposed to happen. I've been testing this machine for hours, and that has never happened. I've never gotten stuck in the wall, and then it just goes and happens twice in the intro. Jeez, the things that happen in Minecraft. But this machine has been in the works for almost a day and a half now, and I've come up with a couple cool things. It might seem pretty simple on the outside, and the concept is pretty simple, but it's actually quite tricky. So the idea is that you come over here, the trapdoor is in this position here, you right-click on the trap door, right-click again, you throw the ender pearl, and you get caught by those trap doors up there. And you have to time this to perfection. So if we take a look at the bottom one, uh, this trap door is actually here for a reason. It helps line us up right here, and then we hold it down. And if you could see right there, both this trap door and this trap door opened and closed rather quickly. And that is because we need this one to open to allow the ender pearl to go through and we need this one to open to catch the ender pearl right here but then we need this to close so we fall on it um, so it goes really quick but the timings are actually kind of simple so we have a four tick uh, delay going into this trap door and a five tick delay going into this one right here and that works out perfectly um, if we're taking the signal from that trap door down below which we'll chain it up and then power both of these. Then we're in perfect position to go again. We not right click on this one, that one's supposed to be down. We right click and it catches us perfectly. So if we take a look at the redstone, um, there's not much to it, but you do have to invert the signal right here. That way the trapdoor is always in the down position, this trapdoor right here. That way when we do power it and activate the machine, it opens up and catches us instead of opening down and letting us through. However, this machine does have its flaws. For one, you can't really reset this trapdoor. So normally you'd want to right click on this trapdoor, you throw the ender pearl, and ideally you would want this trapdoor to come back up to reset itself. But if you do that, you're gonna activate the machine again because the observer, and it's a little bit tricky. I think I could fix it with some pistons and stuff, but it probably isn't worth it at this point. I have another idea. And the other idea I had is actually really, really simple. A lot simpler than this. It's basically an ender pearl staircase instead of an ender pearl elevator. And uh, as you can guess from the name, it's a lot easier and it's just a super, super steep staircase. The idea is that we have here. Let's see. Let's see if I can explain this on the go. So we'll be down there. We'll throw the ender pearl up. It'll hit a block right here, but we'll be holding forward, so we'll squeeze through, uh, we'll land on this platform, and then we'll throw the next ender pearl, and it's going to hit another block, and then we're going to walk forward, land on this block, throw it up, and uh, that's, that's the idea. There won't be one block gap, trust me, that's just for demonstration purposes, but that is what we're going to do. Hopefully, hopefully that's what we're going to do. There is another option where we can throw it through lava, and then we hit a block, land in the lava, and hold the space bar. But uh, then we'd have to use a whole bunch of fire resistance potions, and I don't feel like doing that right now. <laughs> and if you were paying really, cr ah, la, la. and if you were paying really, cr oh my gosh, I can't say it. And if you were paying really, cr la, la. and if you were paying really close attention to those clips, you will have noticed that we weren't taking that much damage while throwing the enderpearl, and that is because. We were doing some enchanting. I finally got Feather Falling 4, and you might be wondering why there's not a Breaking 3. Well, that's because we have another pair that I'm waiting to combine with it. I just figured we might as well get some more durability out of it while we have the time. Um, oh yeah, we also don't even have pants on. <laughs> so these are our pants. This is our chest plate. We finally got fire resistance. I mean, fire protection, which is really nice, and thorns, which, I mean, tomato, tomato. And we have this helmet, which has mending on it and that's because we got it from a bastion last episode and i'm super super happy with it i think yes we also got our bow the cat killer 
Um, if you know what that means, then you are a true fan of me, I would say. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and then let's see what else. I think that was about all the enchanting we did. Yep, that's all the enchanting we did, so let's move on. I have a second design for an ender pearl elevator right here, and this one's super simple. It's literally chucking an ender pearl at a ceiling while holding down forward. So if we give it a try, hopefully we can get it to work. Walk forward, uh huh. Oh yeah, that actually worked a lot better than I thought. Wow. Okay, I think we might have found a winner here, and then we just need to figure out... Oh, hello there. I can... Dang, I have no arrows. <laughs> we just need to figure out some way to get down. I guess we can use this, but... I... Wow, that worked a lot better. The only problem with this one is that it varies off to the side. So if we continue that up, we're going to be, like, that far away from the tower when we get to the top, which is not ideal, okay? And here it is, all finished. It doesn't, it doesn't look that good. <laughs> um, I really just kind of threw, whipped this together, and we, we even had to turn sideways, and I guess this is what happens when you don't plan out your builds, okay? So we'll leave it like this for now, although we might need to cover all of this stuff with slabs, that way zombie pigmen can't spawn. And yeah, okay, maybe not a great idea to be good with, but we tried it, okay? And that is what important. what is important. We're getting better. And one more thing I wanted to do was take some of the string and cover our soul speed right here. This will just stop zombie pigmen from spawning on here because it has been a problem. I've had them spawning here, but I guess they'll, they'll start spawning on our elevator now, which is not great. So I'll try to fix that and uh, hopefully we can figure something out. But right now, I just want to go and do some building, okay? We're going to need to get some basalt first though, so let's head over there. Now that we got this basalt, we can start building, and this is the spot that I wanted to build because it's it's really a mess right now. We have a, a pretty cool room right here with our, our music discs, and that should be flipped down, but this, this is just terrible. So we're going to start off with some bone mill, and this will give me a chance to talk to you guys. Hopefully I can pull off the whole talking and building thing, um, but I wanted to talk about... I was going to try and build and talk at the same time, but it really just didn't work. I watched back the footage, and I was like, um, and so, yeah, da da da, and I placed some blocks, and it really just wasn't working. So, here's a building montage instead. So now that the building montage is done, I can actually do some talking, okay? But you know what? We should probably show off what we just built, and it's this corridor right here. It was actually really, really difficult to build because it is not centered whatsoever. There's a two-block center here, three-block center here. It's not lined up properly. This pathway is bigger than this pathway, and yeah, it was a big pain. So I kind of just freestyled it um, pretty organically, but like structurally, I don't know how to explain it, but I think it turned out a lot better than I thought. Um, definitely not organized, but let me try to recap on what I was wanting to talk about, okay? So, if you didn't know, the 116.2 update is coming out fairly soon. In fact, it might be out when this video comes out, and uh, with it come some changes. There have been some snapshots that have come out, and from those snapshots, we know a couple things. First of which, the nether generation is going to be slightly different, especially from when we started this world. When we started this world, the basalt deltas had much, much less lava, which is kind of nice, I guess. And there are a couple patches. Um, I don't know if you've noticed. Here, let's let's grab our boots, see if we can, we can catch some spots. But if you go to one of the forest biomes, you can get these weird patches where there's, like, no trees and it's just plain nilium, and it doesn't look super great, like... I almost tried to point with my finger. Like, down there, kind of, like that, but on a massive scale, and it doesn't work really well. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about was that this series was, like, never meant to 
be a single player world. It started out as a multiplayer survival challenge, right? Um, and the first couple of videos weren't really that great, just like 30 minutes of uncut footage, it seemed like, of just building stuff. And it took like five episodes to get like a starter base. Um, and so from the talk like that, you might be able to guess what I'm about to say. But big news coming, okay? We are going to start another world. Yes. Now, hear me out, okay? So with all the changes to the nether um, generation and even piglin trading is going to be a lot different. All the Lots of the things were, got nerfed, so you won't be able to get as many materials. Um, but now you can get blackstone from the piglins, which is fantastic. And you can get water bottles. Yes, water bottles from the piglins, which is kind of amazing. We're also going to get the new piglin brutes, um, which should be pretty cool. And I know you could travel... Uh, really far away into new terrain to get that stuff, but in the nether it's a lot harder to find new terrain because normally in a survival world you would go to the nether and travel really far in the nether to get to new terrain, but you can't really do that in the nether, or not very well. So that's another point um, that made me want to change this, and also just on the basis of YouTube. So I make these videos for you guys to watch, right? And I want them to be good. I want the start to be as good as the end, although it probably won't be, uh, which is the <laughs> especially clear in the case of this world. As I said before, the first videos aren't very good. My mic quality is kind of terrible sometimes, honestly. And I really feel like I found my groove the last couple um, of weeks in just making videos, what to put in them, how long to make them. And I think I could carry that over really well into a new series. And then it would be really great for the people watching the first episode to be like, oh, this is actually good. I'll, I'll stick around, you know? So that's another reason why we are going to restart. Um, so I hope you guys uh, think it's a wise decision as well. Uh, I've thought about this a couple, for a couple days now, and I think it is the best way to go. We're going to get new terrain, a new adventure, and there are a lot of unfinished projects in here um, that I've been trying to wrap up for a little bit now. There's still a couple spots, like right here I would like to to, to finish up, maybe clean up this area, because, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> we have holes in the ceiling, <laughs> which is not great. Um, and this right here has been around forever. This wall isn't quite finished, so there's a couple things that I would like to finish around the place before we end this this world. But don't worry, it's going to be the same experience in the new one. We're going to do nether survival. It's going to be me playing again. Um, lots of new ideas, and I do have lots of pretty unique ideas, I think, that should be really, really, really cool to work on. So I hope you guys uh, like that, and I think that's all I had to say. It's a little bit later now, and I've made some changes. So I'm just going to walk around and try to point out a few things. Uh, we've added a railing here. Uh, we did some work down these stairs over here, right here. Mm -hmm. I really like how this looks with the the blue at the bottom and we have the bridge over top. Oh, I think it looks so nice. Um, and yeah, I've just been doing a couple general touch-ups and I'm not going to say that I'm having second thoughts about changing the, or starting a new series, but I'm having second thoughts, <laughs> okay? I, I'm doing this for you guys, right? And... I just want a rebranding, essentially, right? And we could, here, here's an option, we could um, just go back and change the episode series and have it start around episode 5, because episode 5 is when it, it becomes a single player world, right? And I just don't want it to start as something that it grows into that it's not. If I, I hope that made sense, but I don't want it to start as a multiplayer world and then end up as a single player world where I have lots of fun doing uh, different projects, right? And so I really want your guys' input on this. Um, if we should start a new series, I, I'll start one and I'll start recording and making the video and everything, um, but I don't know if I'll follow through with it. Uh, we can always post it and we can always come back to this. I mean, I'm not going to delete the world or anything, right? So I would love your input on that, but now it's time to get on to the next part of the episode which in this case is the lodestone, okay? We found one of these last episode in a bastion, and uh, one more thing, <laughs> it, 
if we made a new world, we'd actually be able to find Bastions. But we found this bat, uh, not found this Bastion. We found this lodestone in a Bastion, right? And I wanna, I wanna experiment with. It. I've never really messed around with these before, and I'm not sure where I should put it. Maybe I'll just put it like, I don't know, right there for now. And I think we need a compass, if I'm remembering correctly. Let's get some iron, some redstone, and compass. Bam. Okay. So I think the compass should be freaking out, right? Or is it... Yeah, okay. The compass is definitely freaking out right now. It's just spit it all over the place. And then I think we just right-click on this? Yes. Wait. <laughs> Country load. Take me home. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Which reminds me, I want to look at the advancements. Wait, so nether. Oh, look at that. Get a full suit. Jeez. Use a compass on a lodestone. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that. Okay. Okay. And then, will this just point to it forever, I think? Okay. And then, can we name the compass without it messing up? I, I want to test that real quick. Um, let's call this home. There we go. How is it now? Yeah, I mean, it's still working. Okay, that's that's really cool. And then what happens when we break this? Does it... Okay, it's not pointing anywhere now. Okay, I think it reverts back to its original stage, and then if we place it down here, it recenters itself. Okay, that's really cool. I kind of wish they'd, like, lit up a little bit, but I guess it's just because I like the, the respawn anchors too much. Um, so that's pretty cool. I think we'll leave it right here for now, and then I guess we can check this in our ender chest, that would probably be smart, and we should probably take some of these bones out, because, yeah, we, we got a lot of bones last episode, and I'll just chuck them in there for now. Hmm, I've been walking around for a few minutes, and this is a little concerning. <laughs> that shouldn't happen. Was it because I activated them too quickly? I mean, oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Okay, okay. Fire resistance. Yep, we're drinking that. Oh, no. I don't want the bookshelves to burn. Please don't burn bookshelves. I've had too much trouble burning bookshelves. Okay. Alright, I think we're safe. Okay, thank goodness for that. We'll, we'll leave that for now. Okay. <laughs> In the new world, I think we'll still end up doing this. But, um... Oh, look at that. Hmm. I wonder what that's for there. Um... <laughs> I, I, I want to mention one last thing, okay? The primary motivator for this talk about starting a new series and starting a new world is um, just the fact that the first episode has gotten a lot more attention than the other ones, and I really want the first episode to be a good one. I want it to start off well, on a good note, how it should, not in a multiplayer survival challenge. So, yeah, that's about all I wanted to say. And there, of course, will be a world tour of this, um, regardless of whether we're going to start or not. I think it's about time to do a world tour. I know it's not like episode 50 or anything, but I think episode 40 is a good good place to do... You mad at me? No? Okay. I think episode 40 is a good place to do a world tour. Just walking through this, we have a lot of things in this world. A lot more than I, I think I realize. And I think it'd be really cool to highlight this. And maybe even uh, put, like, a world download. I know you can do that on, like, Planet Minecraft. So that will probably happen. And uh, it should be pretty cool. We have a lot of things. And I think I got about everything finished up that I wanted to. So we should be good to start a new world. Which would be really, really cool. But uh, I blabbered on enough uh, for today. We're actually going to end the episode here. And that's something I wanted to do more. Uh, end the episodes... Uh, a little bit sooner if we have all the things that I wanted to done, which in this case I do. We we did the Ender Pearl thing up there, we did some uh, touch-ups around the base, uh, worked on the lodestone, and that's all I had planned. So we're gonna go over here and pick out a comment for today. Ha ha! We picked out a comment, and actually, well, it's kind of two comments today because there were two people that talked about a hopper clock. Okay, uh, Jaden Hearing. I 
I'm really sorry if I said that wrong. <laughs> and Labster both said that I should use a hopper clock with the piglin bartering system that we have over here. And apparently it's 21 items that you put in for the timing to be correct, um, or six seconds, I believe. So we will definitely end up doing that at some point on some world. <laughs> But I just want to say uh, thank you for all the comments. It's really great to read them. And I'm going to have two comments down below, uh, both by me. And I'm going to have one be if you want the new world and you think it'd be a good idea, or if it isn't. And I want you to like whichever comment you think would be good. Uh, if you don't care, whatever. Uh, but I think that might be a cool way to do it since we don't have polls anymore. Anyways, that's going to do it for us today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and uh, Wow. That totally went downhill. <laughs> Take two. Thank you so much for watching. My name is RecRap2, and I'll see you in the next video. You like how I said RecRap2 in the beginning and the end?